Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today, I'm recreating the McDonald's Big Mac. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video where I tried my first Big Mac ever. I'm gonna link to that video in the description box below because it was pretty funny. And in the end, I ended up really enjoying the Big Mac. I loved that special sauce. That was probably my favorite element of the whole thing. I think I can come up with a more flavorful beef patty. My husband loves Big Macs and he asked me to make one in our kitchen here. So I'm gonna try it out today. The first component of the Big Mac that I'm going to prepare is the special sauce. So I have a friend named Kat, she has a YouTube channel, Southern Farm and Kitchen, who told me that she used to be a manager at a McDonald's, and when she makes her own Big Macs at home, she uses a traditional Thousand Island dressing. So I started there with my base, but then when I researched a little bit more online, some copycat special sauce recipes, I found out that if you doctor up a Thousand Island dressing with a couple of special ingredients, it tastes exactly the same. So for the special sauce, I started with kind of a classic Thousand Island base. So I used one cup of mayonnaise, along with a quarter cup of ketchup and a quarter cup of sweet pickle relish. Then, to kind of spice that up, I added in about a teaspoon of yellow mustard, two tablespoons of distilled white vinegar, and then for seasonings, I used a half a teaspoon of paprika, which gives it that nice pinkish color, along with a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then a full teaspoon of onion powder. And when you combine all of this together, it is just gonna have that unmistakable special sauce flavor. So the reason I made my special sauce first is because it tastes even better if it had a little bit of time to sit and allow the flavors to sort of marry together. So it's all ready to go. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and get working on the burgers and the other toppings. So next for my toppings, I'm starting with a sweet onion. And at McDonald's, it was chopped up so finely. And my husband suggested I should use my mini food chopper, which I think is a great idea. So I kind of roughly chopped up half of a sweet Vidalia onion, and I'm gonna pop it into my mini food chopper here so that the pieces get super small. And not everybody in my family is gonna eat onion tonight. So just realistically, I'm starting with a half, but you could of course do a whole onion too, depending on what you need. We'll pop the lid on. There we go. Next up, I have about a quarter of a head of washed iceberg lettuce here, so it's nice and crisp and cold. And I have this cool little lettuce cutting knife that my mom gave me a long time ago. And it is a little bit sharp, but it's plastic and it cuts perfectly through lettuce. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to get out one of my special gadgets and put it to use. So just like the onions, the lettuce is pretty fine too. So I'm gonna try and shred this as finely as I can. Here we go. <laughs> I might even cut these pieces in half too because I think the bits on the burger are a little bit smaller, but they are just about this thin, so it's working out perfectly. So to make the burger patties, I'm starting with a handful of meat. It's a little bit larger than a golf ball here, and I'm just kind of rolling it together and then flattening it out. And then I'm gonna use a mug that has a nice round top to cut out my patties just so they have kind of a uniform shape just like they do on a regular Big Mac. So I'm trying to get these as flat as possible just by hand and then I might be able to use my spatula to help me out a little bit too in my skillet when I cook these. So the shape when I'm using my hands isn't super important. You just wanna make sure the meat is kind of staying together. And you could just press it down on your plate too. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be pretty thin. I wish I had placed my beef patty between some saran wrap or wax paper and flattened them out even more because I think it would have had a more authentic Big Mac burger patty look. But it was well past our dinner time already, so we just went with this. And then this is the mug I'm using. Just kind of almost like a biscuit cutter or something. So then that gives me a little bit of demarcation here where I can just sort of remove the excess and smooth out the edges. And then I have my perfect little patty. So this is just 80-20 ground beef that I got at my grocery store, but I think it's gonna have a little bit better flavor than that burger patty from McDonald's. So now I have my skillet preheating over about medium high heat, and I'm gonna add in my burger patties. 
I'm gonna cook these until they're entirely cooked through. I know different people like burgers different ways, but it's well done in McDonald's, so they're gonna be well done here. I spread the inside of my sesame seed bun with some softened butter and then I took an extra bottom from another bun and spread both sides with butter. And you can see I tried to cut off some of the excess bread but it was so skinny it was really hard to do. I also placed my yellow American cheese on top of one of my warm beef patties just so it would start to melt a little bit. And then I toasted my sesame seed buns on my griddle until they were nice and golden brown. My Big Mac has been assembled and now I get to go in for the first taste of my Big Mac. It's everywhere. This is really good. But I should have grabbed a napkin before I took that first bite. Thank you, Jack. This is delicious. That sauce totally makes it. It's definitely a little bit different than a regular Big Mac because I just made it fresh. So I freshly shredded the lettuce and right now chopped up the onion. See, they just have that slightly fresher taste. They're really good though. And the cheese, honestly, if I was gonna make this again, just for myself, I would probably just melt the cheese over the burger because I just prefer that texture, but it has great flavor. The sauce is amazing. The buns really are spot on too. I just don't think I could have recreated those in my own kitchen, that really soft, fluffy texture. And I love that I grilled them with a little butter because it just gives it that extra layer of flavor. And the beef patties are good too. So overall, I think I did a pretty good job. So the moment of truth came when my husband, the Big Mac connoisseur himself, tried the burger. And he said it is spot on. The only difference is the beef, which he said tasted a little bit better. So that's good in my book. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like my Big Mac recipe. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen and I'll see you again soon with more family recipes.